they have this permanent signal on me. It never goes away. It's always in my ear, my, my, especially my left ear. It's loud ringing noise. It's the mind control signal. When I when I hear it that loud, which is most of the time, that usually means that that I'm being mind controlled and everything around me is being mind controlled. Everyone could be everything too. I've seen some weird shit with <laughs> with with innate objects or or animal objects. We'll just put it that way. I don't know if they're. I mean, this the stuff is it's just so unbelievable what they're doing. The technology they have. Just like uh, Bruno Marcassani was saying, he says, if they can mind control a rabbit, they're mind controlling the cops. So uh, if they can mind control a rabbit, I, I saw a video that they were mind controlling cockroaches. Sticking little antennas on them. Oh, it's all fun and games for these sick people doing this shit Scienti in the name of science <sighs> I've just seen a lot of weird stuff but you know God's always God's in control and that's just the way I look at it no matter what sick, demonic shit they throw at me, God will always is always in control. At least that's my prayer, anyway. And they won't allow me to sleep. Every morning at five o'clock, it's like clockwork. The fucking ringing starts so horribly, wakes me up. I can't sleep. So if I get to, I'm a I'm a late night worker, uh, you know, especially when you're on the internet. You start you start working on something, you start researching something. It leads to one thing, it leads to another thing, leads to another video, and the next thing you know, it's two or three in the morning. You go, oh shit, and you just keep working. You keep researching. And, 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 I I went to bed at seven o'clock this morning, you know, and and I had to I had to put this uh, sh sheet metal thing that, that blocks radiate uh, electromagnetic shit. I had to sleep with a piece of sheet metal over my head. That's how bad it is. And it just, it blocks some of it. Not, <laughs> not, not just enough to maybe try to eke out a little, little bit of sleep. And I wear this protective, uh, uh, it's called a, a brain coat that I bought from Less EMF and it blocks uh, radio signals. And it really does work. Uh, but some of the shit that they're hitting us with, we don't know. We don't. I mean, it, it can't block. Doesn't block everything. They, they got so much fucking technology that uh, they can hit us with that uh, we don't. We can't. Can't even begin to block all this shit. We. We don't. Uh, they got harp. They got skeeler. They got stuff we. We don't. We we could even possibly begin to understand, much less protect ourselves from it. And they're using it against us. This is this is America. You know, I I, I I hope Romney wins, but I doubt he will because the whole thing's rigged. I mean, you read you read all these stories uh, about Romney. Oh, he's a he's going to slash Medicaid. He brought Paul Ryan on, who's a, a, one of the big champions of of uh, uh, for vice president of, of gutting Medicare and Social Security. And so he just made him his vice president. Do you really think the American people are going to vote for that? I doubt it. I think it was a purposeful uh, move to uh, destroy any chance of having a, a, an, a, an, an actual another pick in the race. <laughs> so it, it's all stacked. It's all rigged. And they're all, they all play their part. And the Illuminati took over our Congress a long time ago. And... Uh, so it's all an illusion. Everything about our country is an illusion. Uh, it's a totalitarian dictatorship under the guise of democracy. From mind control to rigged elections, nothing, nothing is what it seems anymore. America is totally corrupt and bought off. And 
Paul was it uh, Ron Paul I mean he's, he's just a shill he's a joke so it's the controlled opposition he's playing his part too I mean, you just you just look at him e everything about our country is a piece of shit the last real president we had was Kennedy and he tried to uh, take away their bank the Federal Reserve because he knew if you took away their money they couldn't do what they're doing what they have done to our country that is our only hope our only hope they want to start to audit the Fed that might be the beginning of some hope for our country because if you you get their money you can use you can usually stop a lot of shit <laughs> you go after the money and there's a lot of movements afoot. Uh, there's this movement called Thrive, and they're they're going they're starting to go after every uh, every area that the Illuminati has taken over, in the media, politics, banking, uh, military, industrial complex, every, all these areas. They've slowly been taken over. So they're trying to take it back. So there's hope. Isn't that right, Hope? My doggy. It's getting dark here. So I think we can look forward to another four years of Mr. Scumbag Obama. I don't think I could handle another four more years in this country. Let me try to get out of here. <laughs>